As a collaborator in Procore, you play a crucial role in the construction project's workflow. One of the key tasks you may encounter is responding to assigned submittals. In this video, we'll walk through the process of responding to submittals, along with how to efficiently filter and search for submittals in the Procore platform. When you are assigned a submittal in Procore, it will appear in your My Open Items section on the home page. Additionally, you will receive an email notification from Procore containing all the essential information required for submitting the submittal. This information includes details such as the related spec section, the responsible party, and your role as the assignee. The email serves as a handy reference point for initiating your response. To begin the submission process, you can either click the View Online link in the notification email, or manually navigate to the submittal within Procore. Submittals assigned to you will be clearly indicated with a banner at the top of the screen, making it easy to identify those that need your attention. When responding to a submittal, you should ensure that you've attached the relevant spec sheets for the items you intend to install or work on in compliance with the project plans or spec book if needed. You can do this by clicking Attach Files or Drag and Drop Files. Once your files have been uploaded, you have the option to respond and include a comment with your submission. This comment can be used to provide additional context or information to the architect or contractor who will be reviewing your submission. Once you're ready, click Preview to see your response and comments. If everything looks correct, click Respond. Procore will automatically send an email notification to your Procore point of contact, informing them that your submission is ready. Your response will appear as the latest response in the submittal's history. In the event you make an error or need to make changes to your submittal after submission, you can either contact your Procore point of contact for assistance, or if applicable, they can reassign it back to you, allowing you to edit your response. It's important to note that the responsibility for acting upon the submittal, often referred to as the ball in court, will shift to the next designated person in the submittal workflow after your initial submission. The submittal workflow typically involves a sequence where your submission is initially reviewed by your Procore point of contact, who then shifts the ball in court to the architect for a final review. The architect will either approve or reject the submittal based on their assessment. In certain cases, the project's submittal workflow might require approval from multiple parties before it's officially labeled as approved by the contractor and distributed back to you. Throughout this process, designated reviewers might request additional information or clarification from you before granting approval. If your submission is rejected, it will be returned to you for corrections and resubmission under a new revision. Once your submittal has been approved and distributed back to you by your Procore point of contact, you can download the final specifications, complete with approval stamps, either directly from the email notification or by clicking View Online. These approved specifications provide you with all the necessary details to proceed with purchasing materials or performing the scope of work on the job site. Procore will send you email notifications whenever your Procore point of contact distributes the submittal back to you, complete with official spec sheets and conditional approval notes. Procore's automated email notifications simplify the process of tracking a submittal status, even when you can't log into the platform. In a large-scale construction project, you may find yourself dealing with over a hundred different submittals from various subcontractors. To locate your specific submittals, you can use these search and filter options in the submittal log. You can even use multiple filters simultaneously, ensuring you can quickly find your relevant items. Procore's ball in court status indicates who is currently responsible for the next action in the workflow. When the ball is in your court, it's essential to respond promptly. Furthermore, you can view submittals by package and specification, allowing for precise organization and tracking. You can also export your filtered submittal list to a PDF or CSV, creating a comprehensive submittal report that can be printed or saved for reference. By now, you should have a strong understanding of how to effectively use Procore's submittals tool. Remember, the submittal process is designed to facilitate clear and accurate communication between all project stakeholders, ensuring that the workflow proceeds smoothly. With this knowledge, you're now prepared to handle any submittals assigned to you. Thanks for watching.